Hi, I'm Rachel from Vimetrica and I'm going to show you how to use the Vimetrica Dissolved Oxygen System. The kit provides you with the DO probe and plastics and reagents for the assay. You will also need the SC300 or SC200. The first time you use your DO probe, you will need to fill the cap with the electrolyte solution. Gently unscrew the cap, exposing the anode, and fill the cap with the electrolyte solution. Fill the syringe with the solution, and fill the cap about halfway full. Make sure you get out any air bubbles that might be in there. Gently screw on the cap again. And now attach your DO probe to your instrument. If your instrument has two connectors, make sure to connect to the PH BNC connector. So first you can turn on your instrument and you're going to select pH mode or in newer instruments with uh, firmware versions 3.1.2 or higher, you can select millivolt mode. I'm going to use millivolt mode. To get to millivolt mode, scroll through until you get to pH mode, hit the mode button one more time and the blinking light indicates that you are now in potential mode. To do a DO test, you need to measure a 100% saturated solution and a 0% saturated solution. To make the 0% standard, take your measuring vial, put in about two mils of DI water, which is just about a third of the way on the vial, and add about a quarter teaspoon or 750, uh, 0.75 grams into the, into the water. Mix the solution and you should be able to see solid particles in there. Here you have a saturated solution. This is your 0% standard. Now go ahead and put your DO probe in the 0 standard. And allow the numbers to change and stabilize. This may take about a minute for the 0% standard. Just keep the probe steady in the solution. Okay, the reading has stabilized. 
at a value of 9.9. .9. Now 8.9. Go ahead and record this value. Rinse off your electrode with distilled water. And now measure and record your 100% saturated standard. To do this, all you need to do is to wave the probe in the air exposing it to oxygen in the atmosphere. Allow the reading to stabilize. I'm going to call the value 214. And now you're ready to measure your wine sample. There are two ways you can take a wine sample. You can pull a sample from the container into another measuring vial and record it that way. You must do that method quickly because the wine will be exposed to air and oxygen may be picked up by the probe quite quickly. Uh, the method that I use is by sticking the probe directly into the wine container. Um, this will give you the most uh, re accurate reading. However, while you, while you stick your, your probe in the wine, there's always the slight possibility of contamination. Even if the cap were to break in your wine, however, the amount of the electrolyte solution is so small it will not harm the wine and the wine will still be safe to consume. So before you stick your wine in the solution, you should clean it. We use a 20% ethanol uh, solution. Spray this. Now you can read your wine sample. Again, wait for the reading to stabilize and then take your recording. I'm going to take 11.6. Go ahead, rinse off your probe. And make sure you record the value. And turn off the instrument. Now to do the calculation, it is simply the subtract the, the zero percent standard from the wine sample and the hundred percent sample, then divide the wine sample number by the hundred percent standard number, and then multiply that value by hundred. So in this instance, uh, our value would be 1.3% dissolved oxygen.
Now, once you're done with the device, you can disconnect the electrode. You may store the probe with the electrolyte solution in it for short term. If you're going to do long term storage, we recommend you um, unscrew the DO probe, dump the solution, rinse everything with DI water. and store the electrode dry.